Haidan, first of all, congratulations for your new movie and thanks for your time. Thank you. This is um, a tough question. It's a profound one. I need you to describe on Ward on a few emojis. Like okay, just I, off the top of my head. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's an emoji that is two people, yeah. like two yeah. boys. Okay, so that's one. And then, uh, is there, a, is there a, 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 like a van emoji? Yes. That probably exists, so a van emoji. And then I bet there's a unicorn emoji. There's one. Okay, good, I'll do that. Great. <laughs> yeah. And how would you describe Ian and Barley, these two teens? Uh, is it still emojis? No, just Okay, four. good. <laughs> yeah, regular. Uh, Ian is a really sort of shy, awkward, Uh, teenager. He's a really smart, sweet kid, but he's really um, uh, uncomfortable and shy in, in his own shoes. And Barley is the opposite. He is chaotic and wild and intense. And um, uh, though they love each other, they are very different. And Ian doesn't want to grow up to be like his brother necessarily. And this is a magical world that's losing its sense of magic. What does magic represent for you and for these two brothers? I think for me, and in this world, magic is potential. It's, um, it's the working a little harder to bring out a little something special in yourself. You know, in this world uh, of the movie, uh, technology showed up and people gave up on their magic. It's not to say technology is bad, there's wonderful technology in the world, it just means as things get easier, it doesn't, you shouldn't stop uh, challenging yourself to do a little more. And it is inspired by your own uh, history, uh, what, and that's like very, very powerful. What, what uh, was it like for you to create this story from your emotions? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to do something, at least something that started off personal. And my brother and I lost our father when we were young, and always wondered who he was. And so, uh, to be able to tell that story on such a large scale with what I think are some of the greatest. Uh, filmmakers around uh, has been a, a total dream come true and a joy uh, to, to, to experience and I hope that other people see a little bit of themselves in the film as well that this is a, a, a general longing to learn about family I think is a, a universal thing. And what can you tell us about the, the world building because it's uh, like a reality kind of like ours but not so much. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we think of it as it's, it's your classic high fantasy world, uh, which usually takes place in a time long ago. Uh, but what if, over time, they gathered all the technology we had and eventually lived in a pretty everyday world like ours, except that they're all unicorns and elves <laughs> and all that. Uh, that was really the idea behind it, and I think the fun comes from seeing these majestic, wild, magical creatures a little domesticated. And Pixar is always looking uh, the extraordinary for the extraordinary in the ordinary world. And but Onward seems to do like the opposite. It's like a, a world and a team that uh, doesn't know uh, that they are so special and extraordinary. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Um, you're right. They they probably they just take it for granted a little bit. And sometimes I go outside and I see a tree and the wind and and then I see a, a dog and I'm like. The tree and the wind, I mean, that's magic, and nature is magic, and that dog or that, that squirrel, I mean, that's a magical creature right there. And if Pixar movies were uh, high school teenagers, mm -hmm. in with which other Pixar movies do you think Onward would sit uh, at lunch? <laughs> man, you really make me work for this. Um, man, I, I think, here's a cop-out answer. I think that Pixar, as a teenager, would be a very inclusive person, teenager, and would sit with anybody because they wouldn't be in cliques. They would want to include everyone. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> yes. And this is your second movie uh, at Pixar as director, right? Uh -huh. Was this process similar or different than the one with Monsters University? Yeah, it's a good question. They're, they're different. Um, in that uh, they have different challenges and different parts of them that are simpler, you know. Uh, a, a sequel, a lot of the characters you at least know and have a basic idea of what the characters are like and what they should look like uh, and the world, whereas an original film you have to make all that up. Uh, but with a sequel you have the 
problem or challenge of you have to make these characters different and give them a new adventure and you have to stick to who they were. Uh, whereas on original film, I mean, you can at the last minute say, oh, this character shouldn't even be in the movie. Or actually, I want them to be not an angry person. I want them to be a happy person. And suddenly, you have this flexibility. Unfortunately, they probably are both equally different and are equally difficult, but for different reasons. With what feeling do you want the audience to leave the theater? I think I want them to just be thinking again about family and about uh, uh, connection with family and also uh, that idea I was talking earlier about about their own potential you know doing uh, challenging yourself to take risks to get out of your comfort zone and to grow. Do you have a Pixar a character that you really love you can't say your own Pixar characters? Oh good. You I don't? <laughs> you have to no. choose three. Uh, only three? Only three. Uh, I one. like I like Woody. I think okay. I relate to Woody because he's like trying to get things done, but sometimes he can be a little uh, selfish, which, you know, let's be honest. I like Joy uh, from Inside Out because she is so positive, even though she knows things aren't always positive. She's just at least trying to keep uh, things moving. And, um, and I probably like uh, Mr. Incredible uh, because, again, he's someone who's... Uh, you know, trying to keep everything together and, and uh, <laughs> keep the world on his shoulders, I guess.